name is Danielle Ramsey. Mm -hmm. And wh what's going on here at the airport? Um, right now we're doing a rally. Um, it's an action for our campaign here to get a union with the non-union workers here in the DBEs at the Oakland Airport. Um, we're being represented by Unite Here. And we're just trying to get our message across that these are, we're trying to get the things that we've been entitled to, like health care and, and benefits and breaks and, you know, security of jobs and seniority and things that, you know, most people in jobs like ours have that we deserve. And were you working here? Uh, yes, I work at the Jamba Juice um, upstairs in Terminal 2. What are the conditions there? Um, our store is pretty unorganized sometimes. Sometimes I don't know my schedule, you know, until a couple days before, like I'm supposed to be working. Um, sometimes I don't get the breaks that I need to get. Um, it's just, it's, it's chaotic. Huh? It sounds like chaotic. Yeah, it's pretty chaotic. That's what I was just going to say. It's going to be my next point. Sometimes it's really frustrating and chaotic. And um, I just like to have some stability, honestly. So some seniority, which a union. Yeah, with. exactly. Like, you know, because I've been working there for close to two years now. And um, I just feel like, you know, that's a long time to commit to a, a employer. And I feel like, you know, they should give back. You know, we, with the employees and the customers, like we really support these businesses. And they need to understand that and give us our due. So why aren't they allowing you to have a union here? I, it's public property. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, whatever motives they have are their own motives. Um, personally, it's not a personal against the company for me. I just feel like these are rights that I should have and I'm going to fight for them. And have you been to the Port of Oakland, the board of the Port of Oakland? I have talked and, to a uh, board commissioner. Yeah. What did you say? Um, I told him about um, our conditions and we told a few stories. Hakima told her story. Um, another friend of mine, Hassani, uh, he works in the Burger King upstairs. We all told the commissioner our stories and how we were just trying to fight and try to get our, our due. And what are they going to do about it? Um, the commissioner I spoke to, he seemed pretty um, concerned about our predicament and they're really thinking about taking actions. Just yesterday um, I met with a committee of people for badging because I got a citation on my um, CITA badge for the inside to access the inside of the airport. Who and gave you the citation? My boss. For being on the premises during a delegation we were doing to tell them that we have a fair process to demand a union. Yeah. So. And how did he give you a citation? He told the board that uh, that we were in the airport on unofficial business and isn't this a public facility exactly and we have access to the inside for official business and I think that telling my boss that we um, demand the fair process to a union is official business and we didn't agree with that and we disputed it and you know just one of many steps in getting on the road to just getting the things we deserve so it sounds like these uh, bosses are violating the franchise agreement there's not supposed to be discrimination against workers in the franchise agreement exactly it's, they're not supposed to retaliate um, for, at me for things like trying to join a union and stuff like that so you know I'm just I'm really sometimes it, it upsets me but other times I'm just like you know this is what I have to do I'm gonna go do it and this is what we're doing right now is this democracy the, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's it's democracy no I wouldn't say that um, but hopefully with a little push we can and make it into some sort of semblance of democracy. So you're not going to give up? No, not by any means. Workers who are here, some of them they get the health care and all the benefits here, but the, some of them they don't get like uh, anti ants Subway, Burger King, Jamba Juice, like that, so we're uh, picketing. Why are the uh, employers, these companies, refusing to abide by the franchise agreement? Apparently the franchise agreement says they have to respect their rights, their labor rights. Because they're greedy. If you don't give the health care, then you know, you you minimize your costs. That's what it is. They're greedy. I used to work at the Casino San Pablo. I used to. And what happened there? When I was on agreement to leave, they fired me. Isn't that illegal? It is illegal. The case is going on at the labor board. So it seems like there's... The charges. It seems like there's an epidemic of firing members who want to have unions. Yes, especially when you have a unions, their eyes, eyeballs are big. They're watching you. If you do something small, mystic or something, they're gonna fire you or you know get rid of you because. And then, especially in the casino, the casino San Pablo, which is one of the urban casino, I think, holy at the in the California. 
they are hiring the part-time job holders so that way they don't have to give the benefits. That's why I was telling they're greedy. They want to make more, more, more money. And what does the effect of a firing have on other workers who want to join a union? What's the effect on other workers when somebody's fired for trying to have a union? So that way, you know, people get scared and don't want, don't like to join the union or something. You know, if you get, they want to scare the other workers. So they terrorize. Terrorizing, absolutely. So sometimes I feel, are we in America? Absolutely, because when I was fired, I asked for the leave and my manager told me, yeah, that's okay. And like after within a week, they sent me a letter of not reporting them, um, sent a letter of termination. So you, the reason you're here is you're supporting, supporting these... Supporting the workers at the airport. Because they've also been fired. Yes. Yeah, some of them, um, as I know, Bikram, one of the workers who is working at Subway, that he was working in his two... Um, the owners has two or three different Subways, and he was working like 16, 17 hours. And he involved in the union to... Um, you know, join the union and he, f he fired him. My name is Bikram Thapa, uh, uh, B-I-K-R-A-M-T-H-A-P-A. So I used to work in Subway in the Oakland Airport. I've been here almost a year and I work, used to work for them uh, any other store too. He has a uh, more than 10 store. So I working for him um, uh, Airport Subway, Subway 98, Subway in Washington Avenue, San Leandro, and he has a uh, gas station several in the located in the Hagen Mugger Road. So I work for them uh, every week. Uh, all the store every day, uh, every day around uh, 20 hours a day. But finally, I tried to join the union in the airport, and they fired me from all the job. Isn't it illegal to discriminate against union members? Yeah, I know. I told him it's, in the, it's illegal, but they, uh, they they don't care. I told him it's a illegal uh, discrimination, retaliation. Say, said, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. That's your right, and you. You can do it. I don't want anybody else in my business who has a union member. What are the conditions you have to work under here? The wages, the benefits, health care? Yeah, we, um, when I thought uh, I started working in the airport, I thought I, I will get all the benefits which one other employee has. But later on, I I know I don't get anything when I uh, try to learn with them more and try to organize a union or get the health benefit. Uh, they fired me. They give me reason. No, I don't want anybody else who has a union member. I don't, we don't have any health care, any benefit, not, not at all. So they're trying to intimidate all the other workers too? Yeah, they're trying to all the other too. They are fighting on my one of co-workers. They got the other, uh, my co-workers citation, like harassment. If you want to do that, we will fire you. If you have to do that, okay, don't sign any paper. Uh, if you sign any paper for the union, I will fire you. And I don't give any job in other store. Because so I will keep you in the airport maybe one day or two days in the week. And they don't survive. That's why they are keep like scared. They are like right now they are harassing the employees in the who who try to organize the union in the airport. Kenneth Martin, IOWU, local 75. Yeah, we're just trying to show solidarity. Uh, this union supported the workers at waste management when they had to pick it, and we're just trying to show solidarity. It seems like the companies here don't want a union. Yeah, that seems to be an ongoing thing, and. This next election is pretty important because uh, they're not union friendly from, from my research, you know. So, what about the fact that the board of Oakland, the port of Oakland, is appointed as a public as a public port? You think that they should have responsibility to allow the workers to organize? Yes, they do. Uh, they do. They should. I was born in Oakland, but I grew up in Houston. You know, a part of the country I call it right to work for less, and uh, they don't. They don't know the benefits of that, you know. They've been brainwashed for like the last 50, 60 years. They, you know, they don't understand how, how, you know, how good we have it over here. It's really unfortunate that, you know, they don't really understand. So a non-union watchman in Texas, what do they make? You know, I don't have any idea, but I'm sure it's probably less than half of what we make. I'm glad I moved away. <laughs> I'm glad I moved away. You know, things, you know, I moved back in 1994. You're in favor of all the workers here having the right to have a union. Yes, I am. Absolutely. As a, yeah, born and raised Oakland native, it's it's absolutely disturbing. You think you have labor rights, the right to be in a union, and these people are being fired for... It's incredible. 
That's incredible, yeah. But, I mean, if you turn around, you see all these beautiful people, and they're, they're fighting back, and, and they're going to be victorious. You're in negotiations, 1021's in negotiations, too, with the port? Correct. And why are they taking a hard line? I mean, it seems like business is booming here. Uh, it's illegal to discriminate against people who want a union. Well, I'm not an official spokesman for the union, but if you want my opinion, I Your opinion. that my opinion is that's the line everybody's towing and they're jumping on the bandwagon that cities are some cities are facing hard economic times and the port's going to jump on that bandwagon even though they have a surplus. They have a surplus in millions. In millions. Yes. Yeah. But they want to take away from you? Yes. What are they demanding? Um, um, uh, they first started with, I think it was 42 takeaways, and now they've come down a little bit. What we asked for was just a continuation of our contract and a cost to living. So you weren't asking for anything else. So you just want to keep what you have. We wanted to keep the contract and a cost of living. And they're opposing. But you know everything's going up. <laughs> so, so. And so how long have you been in negotiation? Over a year. A year and a couple months. Why do you think they're firing people? Well, because I think that, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the employed employers actually would like to pay what should be paid to the people and actually for them to get richer and the people to become more poorer. And so it's really unfair for, for, uh, for these uh, people that believe that, you know, that um, having people pay less, believe that they can make more money, but it's not, it's not all the way, it should be all the way around. Are you surprised it's happening in a public property, the Port of Oakland? Yes, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised because I didn't know that this was going on, especially now that the train is at BART, it's being, it's being uh, connected to the airport. No, so I'm really full support on this. On this, you think that the mayor should speak out on this issue? It's city land. Not only the mayor, not only the mayor. All the all the Auckland City Council people should speak out and support these issues and causes for the workers that recently get you know uh, fired and also get un 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 unpaid. Being retaliated against for trying to have a union. Yes. It's illegal, isn't it? It's illegal. It's, it's basically more than illegal. Monica Guzman. And are you a worker here? Yes, I work for HMS Halls and retail. And I've been working at the airport for almost 20 years. They're, instead of uh, agreeing to a fair process, they're being firing people. It's like three people already got fired and they're doing a lot of things to continue to put pressure on the workers. This, this is our, the agreements that they had when they came and run the airport, but it's not happening. So isn't it illegal to fire people who are trying to organize a union? Yes, it is illegal, and that's why the, all these claims are being filed already, but the process is kind of slow. You know, it's taking time. It's under investigation, but... You know, when it's anything against the worker, it happens so quick. You know, they just get fired and they get citations for coming inside the airport and try to speak up for their rights. Right now with the economy, I guess these workers are just taking whatever they have right now because it's kind of hard to just go and look for something else. But I mean, they're, they're suffering, you know, no health insurance. Sometimes the workers have, you know, emergencies and now they're in debt or collections because they have just go to the e emergency and this is all they get. What, what should the Port of Oakland do with these companies if they don't want to comply with the law? Well, I mean, if they don't want to comply, I mean, they have to leave the airport and let the big tenant run these businesses because this is the only way. Either they agree for the workers to organize or they can just go and do their business outside the airport because this, this airport is a union house. We are all union inside the airport. And this is the agreement that they have. This is the lease agreement that they have. What percentage of the workers at the concessionaries are united? H-E-R-E 2850 members? 65%. Uh, yeah. So these other companies are opposed to allowing the members really to be members of the union? Yes, they are. They continue. They continue doing everything they can against the workers, but 
We're still here, we're still together, we're still united. And what about Mayor Kwan? Has she spoken out about in defense of the workers who've been fired? I haven't heard anything from her. No. Hakima Arhab, H A K I M A R H A B. I'm fired. They fired my other co workers, and now uh, they cut many of uh, my co workers' hours. And now they are going because they hired like four people for the airport, so they're gonna uh, fire like three or four more co my co workers. And isn't that illegal to discriminate against unions? Uh, yeah, this is retaliation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is retaliation against us. And what does the owner say? Uh, uh, we don't want you to have union. We don't want you to talk about union. So, and they just want to kick us out because we want our rights. And what were your conditions like that you wanted to have a union? Oh my God! So we were like, we were working very, very hard. Uh, we are the busiest store in the airport, and uh, they just they just put like two people for the line, and we have orders from Southwest, and we have to do all the whole stuff, and it was very, very stressful. And when I got sick because of that hard job, uh, I stayed home for ten, 10 days. I didn't have uh, health care because I can't afford it. So they, they and when I came back, they didn't pay me the sick days and uh, for like three months I was working uh, every Sunday I was working like uh, 12 hours a uh, day and uh, they, they don't pay me the overtime and I have to take just 10 minute break and half an hour and pay the break so that was very really really awful and did, what did they fire what was exactly the reason they fired you what did they say uh, so what they told me, they told me like, oh, we don't have, uh, we are very slow, we don't have any more hours for you, Hakima. But actually they are very, very, very busy. They are in the, uh, in the busiest days of the year. Uh, and just the next day, they hired someone else. So how they are slow, it doesn't make sense. Also the mayor, has Mayor Kwan spoken out against the uh, firings? Until now, they didn't do anything. You think the purpose was to intimidate workers by firing people, to, to be, for people to be frightened to go along with this? Yeah, I think so. They want to intimidate us and give like, and it's like we are examples. Uh, so they fired me, so my other co-workers will uh, st stand up. Yeah, st uh, so they they will stop. So they want to scare them. And how have you been personally affected with since your firing? Uh, yeah, now I'm having a hard, hard time uh, because I'm fired and I have to I have to stand up and fight because I'm not going to, my, my my employer told me Hakima go and look for another job and that's it. I'm not I'm not going to look for another job. I wanna have my job back. I wanna I want come back to my job so they gonna know that's unfair what they did and that was retaliation. I'm not just running out.